All right, good afternoon. Uh, today is Thursday, August 8th, 2019. Uh, we're here at North Texas Equipment in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, we're shooting this video today of the 2002 International 4700 with the 60-foot reach Terex High Ranger Boom. This video is being shot for Don in uh, Ontario, Canada. I'm um, going to walk around the truck with you at first on camera, show you everything on it. Then we're going to start up the main engine, let you listen to it run. Um, and then we will uh, fire up the pony motor, the auxiliary pony motor, and we will operate the hydraulics. Put the outriggers down, operate the boom, fly everything, and let you kind of see it all in action. So first of all, I'm going to walk around the truck and just kind of show you the cosmetics of it. You know, for the age of the truck, for a 17-year-old truck, it's in pretty good shape. It has not been repainted. This is all original paint. Um, it, it, I mean, it, it's a, a pretty darn clean truck for what it is, but it's not perfect, so we want you to see everything. So, you know, coming around the truck, um, you know, it does have, you know, some little scratches and dings and things, and then places where you can see where decals were, you know, on the doors and on the fender a little bit. Tire is in very good shape. Undercarriage does not have any corrosion or rust. Um, I mean, a little surfaced rust, but none of that uh, northern, you know, salty kind of rust that we see from the northern states. So, um, little little uh, cosmetic crack in the grill, uh, very insignificant, um, but we want you to know it's there. Um, worst thing we can have is a surprise. We don't want any surprises. So, uh, coming around the truck, uh, this tire is also in very good shape. Undercarriage is nice and clean, no corrosion. Um, you know, same thing. It does have a you know a couple dings on the door, little small dents and things there on the cab corner. Fiberglass uh, hood is in great shape. Windshield's in good shape. The rack, the overhead rack is in very good shape. Uh, tanks, um, the fuel tank uh, is very clean and no issues. Coming around the truck here, the boom, you know, just normal average wear and tear, but um, fully functional. You know, you know, on some little edges here, you do have a little bit of signs of corrosion, but it is, uh, it's very light surface uh, rust and, and nothing that I think anyone would be concerned with on this age of the truck. Um, coming around here, you know, the frame does not have, you know, any significant rust or anything. Um, it's absolutely a southern truck, um, has not been exposed to those uh, harsh environments and the chemicals of, you know, that you see it on coastal areas or around snow and all that. So, you know, for a 17 year old truck, it's in pretty good shape. Obviously where their paint has been missing, you're going to see a little bit of surface rust, but it is a uh, purely cosmetic. Coming around the back here, it does have a blow-through blow style uh, tailgate, uh, heavy-duty pintle style hitch for a chipper in the rear, and uh, a long uh, toolbox here for uh, pole saws and whatnot. Um, coming around here, it uh, does have the storage compartments for uh, outrigger pads and cones or whatever else that you uh, use in the tree business. As you see everything on the driver's side. The bed's in good shape. All right, coming back around here, I'm gonna stand back. I'm gonna let this truck pass so uh, you can hear the engine. Okay, now I'm gonna have Michael go ahead and start the truck and you can listen to the main engine. That's the, uh, the DT444E, which is a 7.3 liter uh, diesel. Uh, great engine. Any diesel guy is uh, going to sing that engine's praises. Uh, the engine does not have any blow-by, does not smoke. It runs great from cold start. No odd noises, and it makes good power. Um, you know, they don't make this engine anymore, but this is one of the standbys that any... If you talk to any specialized diesel guy and ask him about the 7.3 liter International, I don't think he'll have anything to say 
uh, it's bad about them. They're, they're great motors. So um, proud to be able to offer this truck in this age and in this condition with this powertrain and this boom. So a uh, great truck to run a business off of. So I'm going to have Michael go ahead and cut off the main engine. Now he's going to come over here and start up the uh, little Kubota diesel pony motor. Um, now I'm not sure whether you're aware of this, but this truck does have two ways to power the hydraulics. You can engage the PTO, which runs off the transmission and allows you to power the hydraulics off the main engine. Or you can start up the pony motor, which is an auxiliary little uh, Kubota motor. Um, it's running now and he's gonna come put the outriggers down. I'm gonna back up here, but uh, the benefit of the pony motor is so you don't have to leave your main engine running for long periods of time out on the job site. Um, it is a diesel pony motor, so it runs off the same fuel tank as the main engine. Uh, the fuel pickup for the pony motor is uh, a little higher in the tank than for the main engine, and the reason they do that is so, uh, so that if you're out on the job site, you're running low on fuel using your pony motor. When your pony motor runs out of fuel, you'll have enough uh, uh, fuel in your main tank to start your main engine, engage your PTO, and get your boom down and get you a filling station. So Michael is going to uh, operate the boom now. Got the outriggers down. Raising up the main boom there. Bucket auto levels. This is a Terex High Ranger boom. Uh, you know, the two main boom manufacturers are Alltech and then Terex High Ranger. Those are the two largest uh, uh, companies in the business. Uh, the benefit of Terex High Ranger is uh, the serviceability and uh, the fact that the parts are not near as expensive since you have any kind of issues as, uh, as Alltech. Alltech is very, very proud of their parts. And uh, just kind of a rule of thumb, any Alltech parts usually worth about three or four times what you think it would be. So Terex High Ranger is much, much uh, more reasonable. So. Terex High Ranger, I mean half the booms, the reason I say both, uh, Terex High Ranger is kind of like Chevrolet and GMC. It's the exact same, they mark it under two different names. Some parts of the boom will say Terex and some parts will say High Ranger. So um, that's the reason I call them both. Now he's going to go up to full reach there. I'm going to try to step back here and then he will uh, rotate the boom. He's rotating it. Very smooth and quiet rotation. No noises, no popping or binding. The, uh, the most expensive uh, function to repair on a bucket truck is uh, the rotation. Um, but the good thing about it is if it's been well maintained, it'll last the life of the truck. And, uh, this one has been well maintained. It doesn't have any indication of, uh, of wear or tear or anything like that. There's no play in the boom. Um, so always, if you're ever looking at a bucket truck, uh, if you wanted, if you had one function you needed to check, it would be the rotation. Uh, this one's in great shape. The main, uh, the main. Um, maintenance that needs to be done to them. It's just lubricating. Um, big heavy uh, hydraulic gear motor and the, the rotational bearing, if you uh, lubricate them, they will, uh, they really don't wear at all. Um, it's just when they're allowed to get dry and 
not lubricated, they uh, will have issues. Now, uh, Michael is going to dump the uh, chipper bed. Should have seen that everything works as it should. The floor of the bed is in very good shape. Very solid, no uh, significant rust or anything. Now he's going to crawl up there and bring the boom down. While he's doing that, I'll show you the interior of the truck. Do have the Terex High Ranger manual in there. The seats are in very good shape. It does have a little wear right there, but nothing significant. Very clean interior for the age of the truck. the speed of the boom by increasing the speed of the pony motor. Um, pony motor is not running very fast right there. I'll, uh, I'll show you that with this little throttle here while he's operating the boom. He doesn't have the throttle pulled out very much. shipped to the border we do that all the time um, and then the easiest thing for you to do is either uh, contract with a broker that will handle the customs uh, issues or uh, you can just go down and pick up the truck and drive it in yourself um, the main thing is figure out what border crossing you want it to go to and uh, we will uh, get it handled so please let us know if you have any questions or concerns